Already, the 2008 presidential election has definitely been a tight race amongst Democrats and Republicans. But there's one candidate who has suddenly decided to join, and our CNN segment shows that this lovely young hopeful has possibly what it takes to be our American president. On March 8, 2008, I had a personal interview with Brent Bishop and got right down to business. Who was he? What was his interest? So, Mr. Bishop, what exactly gave you the sudden urge to run for the presidential election? I was in my political science class and uh, we were discussing the candidates that were running for president at the time and um, several students expressed their dissatisfaction with those that were running and I um, kind of threw out the idea that maybe one of us could run for president and I asked my president, or I mean I asked my colleagues if they would um, vote for me if I ran for president and um, the entire class responded that they would. So I figured if 50 percent of, uh, I mean if all of my class would uh, vote for me, then I figure at least 50% of American people would. You know, Mr. Bishop, a lot of the candidates who have been running, you know, they've been senators or they've been lawyers. They have some sense of government and you are just still a high school student. What qualifies you at being our next president of the United States? Well, I actually have had some uh, leadership experience. Um, as I served as the secretary in Latin Club at my school, and I also um, was the treasurer for National Junior Honor Society. And um, also, I'm pretty good at math. I mean, ask me a random math question right now. What is two times four? Eight. Wow. Yeah, so I, I feel like I'm pretty qualified for this. Also. Um, my uh, knowledge of the geography of the world is pretty good. We have seven continents, and I feel like I know the countries on all of them pretty well. And That's all, pretty all, important. Yes, and I also have a magnanimous vocabulary, so I think that would help in speech writing and talking but definitely, and such. Definitely, us Americans, we love a really good speech coming from our president. So. I was in my Later on that day, I followed Brent ago, as he and, met up uh, with new voters. Several of my fellow students were complaining. Well, for me, the big issue is that schools all around the country are banning Harry Potter from being read in schools or being allowed in schools. What are you going to do about this? Now, I understand that there is an issue with the witchcraft involved, and um, I, I recognize that other books, such as The Great Gatsby and The Grapes of Wrath, have been banned uh, previously. I feel that um, banning Harry Potter just for its elements of witchcraft are um, seemingly unnecessary. So, um, plus, my middle name happens to be Voldemort. I mean, Wow. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, if people didn't read Harry Potter, then they wouldn't know the connection. That might be a good thing, yeah. but yeah. But yes, I, I am for keeping Harry Potter in the uh, in schools. And if parents have problems with it, then they should teach their children about More important topics about. arose as the day went on. One of the uh, one of the big issues this year happens to be immigration. And, uh, what do you think about that? Um, I think that immigrants, as long as they do it legally, should be allowed to naturalize. Uh, the illegal immigrants should be detained and deported until they can be naturalized. Interesting. Now, um, I think the illegal aliens should be solved by a space ranger, such as my uh, colleague Buzz Lightyear. I think he would be an excellent man for the position. Could and, Buzz Lightyear really do the well, job? I think that's really all we need. And then there was the case of orders. music. So what do you think about music, music is being schools? banned from schools? I feel like in a lot of schools it's being but taken can Brent Bishop do anything about it? Hmm. I think that um, music is actually very important, and it, um, rather as an elective or um, as a career choice, it helps prepare children to, um, or students, I should say, uh, become ready for the real world, in, in which there will be music, and that way they have the option. Also, um, I first learned how to play the ukulele when I was in high school. So um, I think that it's very important. You had ukuleles in your band at high school? Uh, yes, we had a string quartet, actually, with the ukulele. Awesome. Yes, and I, have, um, I still play a little bit, actually. Great. So um, maybe you'll see me on the campaign trail. Without music, how would you know what this note is? You wouldn't. Wherever we went, he always I'm had fans. I'm going to vote for this guy. I can fix any problem. Take this car, for example. And I was even with him as he helped promote his it's new the campaign video. Are safe and asleep, but there's a phone in the White House and it's ringing. 
Right. Something's happening in the world. Your vote will decide who answers that call. Whether it's someone who already knows the world's leaders, knows the military, someone tested and ready to lead in a dangerous world. It's 3 a.m. and your children are safe and asleep. Don't worry, America. I will always be there for you on the phone. After our news segment aired, we found out further information that Brent Bishop cannot be a possible candidate for presidency. In fact, he meets no requirements. And he is 16 years old. I'm sorry for those who watched this segment and really wanted him to be our new president who bought campaign posters and shook his hand. But as a Republican, our only hope is John McCain. I'm Kayla Spelling, CNN News. Good night. makes no difference which one of us you vote for. Either way, your planet is doomed. Doomed! Well, a refreshingly frank response there from Senator Bob Dole. These candidates make me want to vomit. Chocolate chip cookies or cream filling? Who needs change when you can just get your soft drink? I'm Brent Bishop, and I approve of this message.